Oh, hey, what is up, guys? From Magic Tech Review, how are you guys doing today? And in today's video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is the X Gotti right here. And I got some information on a new Metro phone coming. So let's go ahead and dig right into the phone and see what's up. So I got this, I got this phone from a company in China. It's called the X Gotti. Uh, so first time taking a look with you guys. Uh, I did see that it looked really. I did see that it looked really, uh, really awesome looking, really, really pretty. Looking. So hopefully, uh, the prettiness will, will uh, come out with features as well. Uh, it's a pretty big phone, and let's go ahead and take a look at what we get here. So uh, first off, you're just gonna get your basic cable, obviously, and it is a uh, micro USB. But as you can see, as you're gonna see here in just a few seconds, it does have some interesting. Uh, features on it, but yeah, it is micro USB. Oh, no, actually it's USB type C. Wow Okay, so that's one that's one uh, really good aspect to it now Like I said, it is This is the X Gotti phone unlocked. I'm gonna have a, a link down in the description below I believe it's under hundred dollars or under two hundred dollars. I think it's like 150 So I guess I'll, ha I'll have all those details in the, in the description down below but let's just take a look at this uh, phone, right here, phone right here. And what's up with everybody? What's up? Uh, Mario Ortega, what's going on? Jesse Dominguez. So, yeah, I got... So, this phone does have a notch. It does actually come with a nice uh, glass screen protector on there, as you can see. So, let's go ahead and just peel this film off right quick. So, boom, right there. So, you can see that front-facing camera right away. We do have a light sensor right there or proximity sensor so i like that they included a glass screen protector right off the bat and actually inside the box it comes with a uh comes with a nice little case and an extra look at that an extra glass screen protector so that is pretty awesome so let's go ahead and take this thing out so the case that they give is actually not you know not going to be like too heavy duty or anything like that but Still, that they include a nice, you know, screen protector is or case is pretty good. Sorry, guys, I'm stumbling over my words. I just got out of class. My hands are kind of dirty still, uh, doing all that class work and everything like that. But let's look at let's look at the back. You see this, guys? It has that nice design right there. It's got uh, four cameras. What looks like four cameras on the back, and it's got the uh, nice looking flash right there. So let's go ahead and let's see. I believe this pe up oh, this peels off right there. So let's look at that. Man, if you guys can see this in person, I know it might look like a little um, washed out or anything like that. But yo, this green is like a like a like a grass hunter green. It's dope. I like I really like the colors of this, and I like the ring around the. Uh, I like how the ring is going around there. Yo, this is really nice. Got the X Gotti branding at the bottom. Like I said, you got your camera flashes right there. You got a microphone jack up top. And then you got your micro USB and your speaker port down at the bottom. So bottom fire speakers. Uh, they include this little thing right here so it doesn't turn on during shipment. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and give it a first power boot. Then you got your X Gotti. Hey, I got three thousand donations already. Thank you, Mario Ortega. What's up, Jesse Dominguez? What's the specs for this device? Uh, specs for this device is sixty-four gigabytes of storage, uh, three gigabytes of RAM. I do have to look at more. I do have have to look at more. Uh, let me pull up my Gmail actually, and it has it has the specs on there as well. So it's a, the specs are old, are decent on there for the price that they the price that they're asking for. Let me go ahead and take a look at my Gmail real quick. Just, just to show you guys. Whoa, I did. I, I like that little intro. So let me just take a look at the specs real quick. Should be one of my. Okay, here. Uh, okay, here's the specs. Let's look at the specs real quick. And thank you for the 21 that are joining with me today live. I'm sorry I haven't been live with you guys, but I got some information for you guys for a Metro PCS phone that's coming out uh, the first 
the 20th of this month. Come on there, ex-Gotti, let's go. Okay. Of course, it wouldn't want to load right when I'm trying to do it right. So I know I do know 64 gigs uh, should be 13 megapixel camera in the back, eight on the front. Yeah. Oh well, it's not wanting to pull up at the moment. But let's go ahead and just keep on, keep on looking. Oh, and you pull up; it literally pulls up right to the. It doesn't even have the. Oh, let me let me brighten this thing all the way. Sun is like beaming down on me right now, so that's not good. Okay. So as soon as you open the phone, boom, it pulls right up. You got your Play Store, you got your Google, you got your gallery, music, messages, browser, camera, phone. Uh, yeah, I'm liking this. Clock, calculator, calendar, tools. Um, you know, Chinese phones get a lot of flack, obviously, uh, in the today or whatever but you know they've been a lot worse quality so I, i'm really i'm really digging this thing to be honest with you like just right off the bat i mean obviously you know once you dig into the phone it might not be as good <laughs> michael west says at least it's sunny there raining here yeah, i know it's just like too sunny though it's like come on man you're killing my video so so there you go so you got backup restore browser calculator calendar Camera clock, contacts, downloads, email, settings, file manager, FM radio. You got your messaging, Google, gallery, face unlock. That's pretty dope. You got your phone, maps, Play Store, search. You got your toolkit, sound recorder, to-do, I guess a to-do list, music, videos, and voice search. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to boot up the camera just to look. So, yeah, it's gonna be hard. To, it's gonna be hard to see. What I'm gonna be doing, guys, is I'm gonna be doing. Is I'm gonna be testing this phone out and uh, sharing with you guys. I'm probably actually gonna do a. Uh, I'm probably gonna be live streaming with this phone as well, so you guys can know and see how it how it is. It's hard. To, it's hard to view it right here, but that's coming up on the channel, guys. The X Gotti. Uh, hopefully, me and X Gotti can form a, a pretty good partnership and do some more phones in the future. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, I just, I like the phone initially, like the, the phone, the feel of it and everything like that. Um, feels nice for something that's not for something that I think, I believe it was 180 maybe, or maybe even less than that. So for it to come with the case and everything like that and really nice and big, my, my wife felt this phone. She's like, wow, that's a big phone. So she was, she's already eyeing this phone for herself. So I don't know about all that, but you know, this phone, this phone is wow. So let me go ahead and tell you guys more about the, uh, we could talk more about the Metro PCS phone that's coming. So the Metro PCS phone that's coming is the Ar Aristo four. So you guys are familiar probably from the Aristo and the Aristo one. So it's going to be the Aristo four coming. Let me go ahead and jump into uh, the specifications that I have for it. So are you guys excited about the Aristo 4? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'm that excited about it, but, you know, apparently, apparently it's coming. Let's see here. I'm trying to. All right. Okay. So this is the, this is the info that I have on. It's going to be a 5.445 inch HD plus display. So it's going to have that. 18 by 9 aspect ratio. That's what the plus usually means. Uh, it's going to be 1440 by 720. So it's still going to have a 720 display screen. 13 megapixel camera on the back. 5 on the front. Um, I mean, and it's going to have retail price of $159.99. So it's going to be 160 bucks, And it's going to be uh, poured in for free. New line. New line is 10 bucks. You know, You know Metro pricing. Metro pricing is really... Really aggressive pricing, which I really like. And if you upgrade, it's going to be $70. So 
So I mean, they Metro Metro is always on point when it comes to. Um, what's up, Scott Thompson? So, yeah, Aristo Four. I mean, am I excited about it? Probably not. Um, am I gonna get it? Probably not. It's just gonna be one of those, you know, it's just gonna be one of those free the free phones that you get when you pour it in. Um, nothing really exciting to me. Seemed like a basic LG phone. Yeah, LG. LG has just been really basic, you know, nowadays. And even with their basic phones, they don't really do anything out of the box. Or they don't try to do anything that's, you know, anything that's really aggressive or anything that's really like, even the LG Stylo, like the LG Stylo 4 and 5, you know, it's like really not much difference. They just played it safe. And I'm tired of LG just playing it safe. I mean, What's up, bro? How you doing? What's up, Tequan B? I'm going to be on here for a little bit with you guys. Just so you guys can ask some questions or whatever. But yeah, like this phone right here, I really like the colors on the, like, I really like the colors. I'm going to have a link in the description below for it. But unfortunately, you guys can't see the color. Like, I don't think it's going to pop out. But, you know, the color on this thing is like, whoa, like this green right here. That's like the first thing my wife seen. She was like, oh, my God, look at that green. It's so beautiful. It's like a metallic green or whatever. I'm loving the color. So I don't know if it's showing up on yours, but like I'm trying to see what, what kind of green it would be like. I don't know. It look, kind of looks like a Mario Brothers like pipe green kind of green color. Mike West talking about LG. I wonder, I wonder if Stylo are coming new phone. I hope it gets better. Yeah, the, like I said, the Stylo 5 was just like like, all right, it's just like a phone, like, it's like just a phone like this with a little, you know, kind of stylo pen, but they didn't really put any thought into the stylo pen. So I just, I don't like the stylo series. I like the stylo one and stylo two, but I think three on up just kind of like, they just kind of went like, all right, let's just do the same thing. Just stick a pen in it, you know, and just put like one more feature. Uh, what was it? The four and the five, they did the same processor. So all they did was a, uh, you know, upgrade to the uh, operating system. You know, I'm using the Motorola Supra right now, Motorola G7 Supra, and G7 Supra, I love hands down. Um, you know, the cameras might not be, you know, as good as, like, iPhones or anything like that, but I don't know. It's just a solid device. It's big. It's nice. It's got a little notch on the top or whatever. you got your fingerprint sensor and all that, and I like it. Like, I, it's, it's, it's a joy to use. Uh, you know, it's a joy to use it. The battery life is insane on it. Like it's, it's ri ridiculous. Like I never have to wake up and be like, Oh, I only have 30% battery life. I, I'm not going to make it like literally, it doesn't matter what I wake up with my battery percentage. I know I'm going to end up making it throughout the day until I get home. I can't function well. The, yeah, I can't like, I can, I, I couldn't imagine using a phone that I have to charge through the midday anymore. Like this Supra has me spoiled to death. Um, like all the super would have to do is just maybe improve the camera, just the next super, improve the camera a little bit. Um, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what to tell you guys. Like it's all super's awesome to me at, at this moment. You know, once it starts slowing down and getting a little old, then maybe you know, whatever. I'll I'll try to decide on something else. But this X Gotti actually, this X Gotti Mate Thirty is actually judging like looking at the super and everything it's about the same dimensions and everything um i'm gonna have to test these cameras on here i believe that the the other three cameras are an accessory i don't think they're actually i don't think they, so as you can see there i think they're just an accessory I, I think only one of the cameras works and i think only one of the flash works so obviously you're not going to get four cameras for like a hundred some bucks but that phone you show us is it unlocked yes it is unlocked it's an unlocked device this is an unlocked device, but I mean, just, you know, just whipping out some phone like that, you know, it's, yeah, that's, that's, that's really cool, man. I'd say like getting this for like a, you know, for somebody for like a, like a present or a gift, this would be awesome. So let me actually see, I'm going to take a picture with, I'm going to take a picture with a flash and let, let me see which one flashes. Here, let's see on. 
Okay, did both of them flash? Let me see. Huh. So is it two flashes on here? Now, see, the one right here, this little one right here flashes, this top one doesn't flash. I think that's just an accessory to make it, to make it look. So this top one right here is not an actual flash right there. So, uh, did you get that one from Amazon? I saw one just like that on Amazon. Yeah, yes, they're on Amazon. MCR straight flexing in these streets. I see you. <laughs> That's funny. Like a Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Looks like a Huawei. Okay. You getting any more phones from anyone else? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to get some more Scotty phones. I'm going to be trying to get some different, some different type of things. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna be working. I'm gonna be working on stuff like that. I'm really trying to hit CES uh, this next year, so I'm gonna be really trying to focus in on trying to do reviews, of products, and stuff like that. So when I do reach out to a company and say, "Hey, can you sponsor me to go to CES?" More than likely, they say yes. So that's uh. So the Aristo Four, like I told you guys, let me let me just reiterate one more time what the um what the specs are and everything like that. So, like I said, it's going to be a 5.4 inch, 5.45 HD plus display. It's going to have a 1440 by 720 um, display, 13 megapixel in the rear, 5 megapixel in the front. It's just kind of, and the retail price is going to be 160. This is coming on the 20th of this month. Uh, port in is free. New line is nine, 10 bucks, and upgrade is 70 bucks. So, for the for those of you that might be Aristo fans, hey. There's the Aristo for you. Uh, you know, go out and get get your Aristo. Um, I like the first Aristo. That that really like drew me. I was like, whoa. I remember when when um, when I heard that they they were giving the Aristo away for free, the original one. I was like, damn, that's that's quality, you know. But now that we've seen different different iterations of the of the Aristo, it's just like, all right, that's cool, but you know what's next? What's what? What are you gonna like? Why do they keep? Why do they keep popping out these Aristo ones, twos, threes? Like, you know, can we get something? Can we get something new to the table? Like, if you're just gonna like do the same thing with just slightly higher specs, just don't even, just don't even bother. Like, just keep the phone on the manufacturing line. Like, I don't know. I guess I just missed the days of. You know, I miss the days of Boost Mobile and Virgin Mobile when, like, they used to come out with some really killer phones and really differentiating phones. I, I just miss those days, to be honest with you guys. Like, I just miss the days that, you know, you used to look at a, one phone and then another phone and another phone, and you would be amazed at the different innovations and the different things they were coming out with. But nowadays, it's just like, eh, same old, same old. But, but anyways... Um, that's about it for the videos guy, for the videos guy, or for the video guys. <laughs> like I said, I'm having trouble, man. I can't even English. What's going on, two phones? Glad to see some. Let's get the like button. Yeah, everybody hit the like button. Thank you guys. Subscribe. All that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.